Well, the cool thing about a 500E is it is an all electric powertrain. And if you ever thought of yourself going into work and saying, I'm going to get 116 miles per gallon today, this is the car that's going to deliver that. The EPA has rated this vehicle at 116 miles per gallon equivalent, and it will go 87 miles on a um, charge. But let me show you what's under the hood. It's a very different from a regular gas engine. As you can see from under the hood, it's basically just a, what we call a beauty cover that covers up a, a high voltage charger. The 12 volt battery is actually right in the middle of the here. And on the left hand side is where the brake system and the brain of the computer. We call it an EVCU, which is a fancy for the, the engine controller. Underneath the entire harness is the motor itself, which is in line with the axles. There is no gearbox in here. And that um, allows us to have a very direct transfer of torque from the gas pedal right to the floor. Well, to start up the 500E is actually very simple. You take your key, you put it in the slot just like you do any other key, and you turn it. As you can see, the display comes right up. It tells you you're ready to drive. The air conditioning comes up as it should. And then basically all you have to do is go to your shifter, put on the brake, push your drive, and off we go. The TomTom -tom is actually integrated to work with the 500E. If you push this little car menu button, it now gives you a chance to look at trip and energy screens. The energy display is actually pretty cool. Power flow. What you see there is three big dials. The one on the left is by climate control. Right now I'm pulling a couple hundred watts into the air conditioner to keep it nice and cool in here in this LA traffic. The middle one you can see moving is the motor and how much energy that's using to move us down the road. The one on the right is everything else, 12 volt system. So as you drive, you can move in with traffic. If you decide to let up on the gas a bit, you see how it goes into the blue and you touch your brakes, she goes down a little bit farther. It tells you you're recovering that energy and putting it right back in the battery again. All right, a couple of the features of the 500E which are unique to the electric vehicle is a pedestrian alert sound. Um, wh whenever you're under 20 miles an hour and you're in stop and go traffic like this, there's actually a speaker under the hood which emits a sound which sounds a little bit like a car, not completely, but basically to alert pedestrians so they just don't step in front of you because the car is so quiet as it creeps into the road. Over 20 mile an hour, the uh, sound will um, just attenuate and go away, and then when you're back going under 20, it comes back again automatically. Another really cool feature about this, because it is so quiet and there is no idle shake, is perhaps you're distracted as you get into your garage, you leave it in gear and get out of the car. This vehicle, if it senses that, will automatically shift into park for you. It'll give a little beep, it'll tell you what it did, and you look down and think, good, I didn't have the car going away on me as I stepped out of it. A third feature is what I call the anti-feature. Uh, we did not put any type of an eco button in this electric car. You're already getting 116 miles per gallon. It's very efficient. And the need to change the driving characteristics from a regular driving experience to an eco-friendly driving experience is really unnecessary. Neat feature that TomTom -tom that we just heard was three beeps as you come into an intersection with a traffic light. So it's letting us know there's a traffic light up here, so we are going to be good and follow the law.